There's an astral mystery flowing in there. Yeah, natural mystic. Stay tuned, Max Romeo Sessa. Amici, stiamo aspettando, siamo nei camerini del backstage di questo concerto di Chia Charun qui a Candioro e stiamo aspettando insomma, che arrivi Max Romeo eh, con cui faremo una chiacchierata, gli chiederemo un po' di cose, un po' di curiosità e quindi mi raccomando continuate a guardare qui questa, questa, come si dice, film, questo video perché insomma, sono sicuro che ci saranno delle cose interessanti. Big up! Yes, I'm Max! You were involved uh, and, uh, between the two, you know, the two uh, Jamaican um, party, mm -hmm. uh, the PNP and JLP, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, in that occasion, you know, that competition uh, produced a lot of victims, you know, in the suite of Kingston, something mm -hmm. like that. You think that today uh, the music. Uh, There is still a connection between music and politics in Jamaica. What do you think about it? There's always a connection between music and politics in Jamaica because um, music is the, 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 the um, what you call is what they use to, to, to get the people in, to get them interested, you know. Music is not the greatest interest in the world, you know. I mean the churches use it, everybody uses music and it's no difference in Jamaica but you know, they always find a song. To go with the program. All right. Like in 1972, they find my song and they go off all the night and they used other party slogan song. Right. I wasn't really a, part, a member of no party, I'm very anti politics. Matter of fact, I don't really believe in politics. I think politics is an evil thing. Poly is people. Yeah. Ticks is a parasite. So politics means people's parasite and these politicians are accordingly. Right. So I'm not really into the politics. They use my song. And because I like Michael Manley, um, what, what he was saying at the time, I kind of like what he was saying, so I gave him permission to use the song, but I was neither a PNQ or a JLP. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You remember the collaboration with Rolling Stones yes. at the time? And uh, you remember also the, 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 the collaboration with Keith Richard as a producer? Yes. And what about it? What do you remember about it? When we were done, it was a nice thing happening for me then because the Rolling Stones is the Rolling Stones and to be a part of, to, to be act, um, working alongside the Rolling Stones is really a great thing to me. Yes. I enjoy every minute of it. Um, Kid Richards is really a human being, you know. People might see him and figure, well, this guy is a drug addict and he's what happened, but he's got a heart, you know, he's a human. Yeah. You know, and the group is so How, how did you feel with them? How did you feel with them, with Keith and with Rolling Stones? I felt quite comfortable because they gave me the respect that the artist normally give to another artist and um, it was easy working along with them on that line you know, because we respect each other and know what we are doing. Now, crucial things. Anyway, you remember the, the time you spent working with Liz Quetch Perry? Uh, you know, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but uh, anyway, how did, you, how did you go, that thing, you know, in a wrong way? No. It was one of the best things about to Max Romeo, collaborating with Lee Perry. Oh, right. uh, we came out with a number one album that is number one up to now, from 1976 to now. That song is in the lead. I mean, tracks from it. Okay. I am sure it didn't chase the devil out of earth. It's the world number one reggae song right now. Yeah. And that comes from that period. Yeah. So, it was a great thing. Lee Perry is a great guy. I rate him as the greatest producer ever in the reggae industry. Because Studio One wasn't being produced by Coxon, it was Ali Perry. The okay. Perry was producing for, for Coxon, the Whalers, the Gailers, and all these people. Yeah. You know. So, to me, he's one of the greatest engineers, the greatest um, producer. And world. so, at that time, the relation between you and Lee Perry was good. You know? It's always been good. Right. Um, he became eccentric, took a different road, all right. and then he started to criticize all the guys that was around him. I was part, I was one of them that he criticized, but okay. then when he looks back, he realized, now nah, Max Roman is different from the rest. Right. So we've become, we've been friends until this day. 
Okay. He's a great individual. A little bit eccentric, but great. You are still <laughs> friend of him. We're still, still friend of him. We're more like anyway, brothers. <laughs> newspaper say different things, you know. They say that you you had a quarrel or something like that and so nah, no. nothing like that. All right. Uh, you know, most of the time newspapers do things to sell paper, you know, that's what it is. But we never had a problem. I mean, I didn't have no problem with him. All right. But there was a misunderstanding down the line. He tried to separate himself from the reggae industry and therefore he didn't want to be involved with no reggae singers. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But I'm different, you know, uh, you yeah. know, he, he treats me different. He might say things when I'm not around, but when I'm around, it's a different thing. Okay. You know, so okay, okay. he snapped out of that now. Lee Perry is back, to, back again to us, you know. He's, yeah, nice. he's not that eccentric anymore. His act is, but individually, he's normal now. No, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's good. Dub and dubstep are now the big things in London and America. Do you think that uh, this kind of music can can lose the power of the message, the original message of reggae or something like that? No, I think what when, we when, do. When it become mainstream, it lose the message, original or not. You know what do you think about it? What I think is that the dub music. Would be good right now. Okay. To to, to, to to kind of cool things down. We're not hearing any words from anyone, we're just hearing rhythm. Then you snap out of that and you start giving them back roots and culture again. They'll forget the satanic thing. Right, right. <laughs> so the dub plays a very important part there. It passes the mind from following this stupid crap that these guys are preaching. Okay. Neutrally head. Then we start feeding them with new music again. Okay. And what about the, the, the new dub, the, dub, like dubstep, it's a kind of electronic reggae, you know, that's it's, it's mainstream now in, in England but and sometimes in America as well. But music is music, and if you want to follow what the whole book says, it says that wood and stone will bow down and worship me. Okay. When men refuse, wood and stone will. So wood and stone is worshiping now. Wood and stone is, is taking part. Wood and stone means computer, email, you know, these yeah, things, yeah. these are wood and stone, you know. So they're taking part now, they're, they're, they're formulating now the whole system of the world now. Okay. It's a new world we're living in. All right. This great, great, great um, prophet Nostradamus. We have to fight, to yeah. face with that. Yes, Nostradamus told us that the world would end 2000. Okay. Everybody get on his case and say, oh, it's stupid, the world is still happening. The world is not still happening. Yeah. It's a different world we're living. Yeah, yeah. The world that we're used to ended the year 2000, just like Nostradamus had said. Okay, okay. I have to go back to school now. Okay. If learn I want to, to learn new things, if I right. want to survive in this society, right. my reading, writing and arithmetic doesn't work anymore. All right. All right. You see? Right. So the world as we know it, as Nostradamus told us, is ended. Okay. But stupidity in people's mind telling that when the world ends, there's going to be mayhem, the cloud is going to burst asunder, God is going to approach, to take his people out, which is a selfish act, and leave us the rest of us here to die. Okay, okay, okay. That's, I mean, that's crap. Nice, Sorry, it's nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Can you just make a big up for Natural Mystic? It's a radio program we... Okay. All right? Yeah. Anyway. There's an astral mystery flowing in the air. Yeah, Natural Mystic, stay tuned. Max show me a sensor. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.